Hey guys, it's Sensibility here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Amber Marie. And I'm going to hop on here real quick, guys, and give you an update of the perfume oils that I selected from the previous video. Um, there was one, unfortunately, that I could only wear for about five minutes and literally had to wash it off. And it's simply because I had some kind of reaction to it, um, which I was really bummed about. So, of those fragrances that I selected, one I have not yet got to test, but I will tell you from smelling it out of just the bottle, it smells like it's a spring, summer type fragrance, so I'm probably going to reject this one in the cut anyways, and that scent was La Religious by Serge Luton. So, I did have quite a bit of Serge Luton's that I pulled out of my second tray. This one, again, like I said, it's kind of green, it's kind of florally, and it just doesn't suit the fall winter. So we're just going to go ahead and say that one, I'm not even going to skin test it because I just, I already know it's not going to work. The next one is Mont Tobacco by Ormond Jane. And this one is a different approach on a tobacco. I do feel like this one leans very much masculine even though I believe this one is dubbed as unisex so for those ladies out there that are curious about this one I just want to give you a heads up that Mont Tobacco leans masculine now it does calm down but it takes a while for it to calm down into what I consider a unisex fragrance there's just a lot of notes in the beginning that really stand out as far as male notes that you would find in male colognes. It is a very beautiful fragrance. The tobacco is in the background and a lot of those green vetiver type notes are in the forefront. So there is that one. That one did not make the cut because I just feel like this one is a spring summer type fragrance. Leans more masculine so it's something I would recommend to the men more than the ladies. But that doesn't mean the ladies cannot enjoy that one. The next one is La Fille de Berlin by Serge Luton. This is another one that gave me the spring summer time vibe. So I did not put it in the cut. It's nice. It has a little bit of a powderness to it. But it's the florals. It's a little bit stronger. If the floors were more subtle, I would say that, yes, you could possibly wear this one in the fall, but it's definitely not going to bring you into the winter time. The next one is Cure Mas Masquerade by Serge Luton. And this one gave me Chanel Number no. 5 Eau de Parfum with um, some resin in there just to kind of make it slightly different, but you definitely get that Chanel number no. five. Like this could be a cousin. This could be a twist on Chanel number no. five. This one seemed a little too mature for me. So this is something that I would recommend to older women or maybe even my mother would enjoy this one. It's not a bad scent. I do like Chanel number no. five. It's just, it's a classic. And um, I'm not really trying to wear a classic this fall, winter. The next one is Bronze Tonka by Carolina Herrera. And this one I thought would be a sweet uh, gourmandish one for the fall winter. And it is that, but it also has, uh, I believe when I tested this one, an oud creeped out. And it was more of a masculine oud. I did enjoy this more once it started to calm down after the initial settled. So, yeah. But I unfortunately... I have a lot of oud fragrances in the in my bottle collection, so I'm looking for things that are different outside of my collection. The next one was my favorite. I give this one a 10 out of 10. Um, I've looked up the notes on this, and what I smell or what my brain portrays is not exactly what is listed as the notes here, but it is Un Patient by Frederick Mall, and this one was a 10 out of 10 for me. What I got from this was a true aquatic. It's almost like Frederick Mall captured the smell of a lake. It's not salty. It's aquatic, but it doesn't have any green notes to it. 
and I didn't smell that Kowon, I believe that's the note in it, that makes a lot of aquatic fragrances a no-go. This one is stunning. I very much enjoyed it. There is like some florals in there. You can smell it, but it just smells airy and breezy, kind of spa-like soapy, but not overly soapy. This one was stunning. This one is similar to uh, Le, uh, Fleur de Bamboo, uh, which I have. So yeah, I am super excited. This one is definitely a uh, made the cut for spring, summer. Beautiful. Love that one. And I am going to be, when I pick my new perfume oils, I'm going to be concentrating on Frederick Mall. But this one was an absolute love for me. The last one is the one that unfortunately I had to scrub off rather quickly. I think I started getting like little blisters on my skin. And this one is Love Poison by Bodicea. There, This is the first time I've ever had a reaction to any of the perfume oils. But there's definitely something in here that it started burning and it made like little blisters so i immediately washed it off within five minutes so i did not get to enjoy this one right here i will test it one more time and if it still causes that skin reaction unfortunately this beauty will have to go up for sale it does smell like a sweet fragrance so i thought it would be an exceptional one for fall winter but it didn't make the cut because of the skin reaction so there you go, guys. There are the updates on those perfume oils from the previous videos. If you guys have any questions about these, please leave them down in the comment section down below. With that said, you guys have an awesome day. And as always, guys, happy perfume shopping. Bye, guys.